Hey everyone, Megan Kane here, founder of the Drop Diabetes Program and the Drop Diabetes Method. You can find me on social media at Type 2 Diabetes Coach Megan. And I'm here today to demo the Cybionics GS1. This is a continuous glucose monitor or CGM that I have demoed before, but now they have a whole bunch of really cool new features on their app that make it even easier and even more helpful. So today I'm gonna put this bad boy on and then throughout the next two weeks, I'm gonna record videos about my experience and show you what it's like to wear one. So when you get a Cybionic CGM, it comes in a couple of parts. Here we go. <laughs> so you have these. It's really, really simple to apply. Uh, if I can pull it off. <laughs> okay. So you pull off the top of this guy and yank the top of the bottom off, the top of the other piece. And then you align it and push down. And now it's charged. So you can come up and that, that needle in there is spring loaded. A question I get from people about continuous glucose monitors a lot is, well, is there a needle just in my arm for the whole two weeks? It's not. So the needle helps the continuous glucose monitors sensor insert into your arm so that it stays. And then the needle actually is spring loaded and comes right back out, which I'll show you today. So now that you have it loaded, you can take off the clip. The way that you put on a sensor is on the back of your arm. Um, and I wanna make a note that there are other CGMs out there that have um, are, are allowed to be on maybe the abdomen or other parts of the body. The Cybionics is for the back of the arm only, at least right now. Uh, but I will say the best results that I see with the clients that I work with in drop diabetes have been on the back of the arm. So the first thing you wanna do is just make sure that your arm is clean. I used an alcohol swab right before this, but I wanna let it dry completely, so I did it before I started recording. So now that this is ready, all you have to do is push down on this and the spring-loaded needle goes in. So you're gonna pick a spot on the back of your arm, preferably where there's a little more fat tissue. So you don't wanna do it right on your bicep. You don't wanna do it right up here on your tricep or anywhere that you don't feel any cushion. You wanna put it on some cushion. So if you need to go like this, that's fine. If you need to go like this, that's fine too. I'm gonna to choose to go this route today. I'm picking my spot and then you simply press, click, hold it for just a second so it sticks and then pull it off. And that needle's back in here and the sensor is on your arm. Now at this point, if you see any blood coming out of the little hole in the sensor, there, it's, it's pretty normal, um, but if it doesn't stop bleeding, it probably means you got it in the muscle tissue. Not a big deal, just get a new sensor, take this one out, put a new one in because it won't read correctly. So that's all there is to it. Now the best part of the Cybionics is that it actually comes with a little insert, or not an insert, a little overlay that goes over top. So one of the biggest complaints that I've gotten for other CGMs with the clients that use them is that they can fall off. Now this is totally waterproof. You can keep it on, you can go swim, you can go sweat, and you'll be totally fine. But sometimes the adhesive can get a little iffy. So the Cybionics actually comes with this amazing little cover. It's got a plastic ring that fits perfectly around their sensor, um, like so. So all you do is I peel one side off and I leave the other side on. I'm gonna place it on the sensor, stick the one side, and then pull that other guy off and then just kind of make sure it sticks with as few creases as possible and just kind of stick it on around there. And there we go. The Cybionic sensor is on. So it's that easy. I know I got mine a little wrinkly here, but you can even readjust it and take it off and, um, and re, it's pretty easy, I'll show you actually, because this happens sometimes. Yeah. So as few creases as possible, it's not gonna affect how the CGM works, it's just going to affect how it um, looks on your arm, but it won't even affect the feel. All right, now that I have my Cybionic CGM on, I'm excited to show you how to set up the app, how to use the app, and what my experience is and what this helps me with. 15 days later to show you how my experience using the Cybionic CGM has gone. So one more thing that I wanted to mention about the application process is it's so simple. You simply use a QR code on the box with your phone, and then you are able to start up your sensor. After 60 minutes of a warm-up period, the fun begins, 
and you're all ready to go. Now, this is after 14 days of wearing this sensor. I have been sweaty in hot yoga multiple times. I have swam a whole bunch, and this thing is still intact. Now, this is something that I'm repeating from my first, when I put it on, my first comments, because a lot of times I have had people with CGMs who are having them fall off because the adhesive simply isn't sticking. And it is a bummer to waste a CGM just because of the adhesive causing an issue. So I really love the Cybionics for that. There's no pain at all. It's super comfy. I really forgot it was there. So now I want to show you, I want to talk first about my favorite parts of the Cybionics app. And then I want to show you those so that you can see what it looks like. Now, first of all, accuracy on this thing is fantastic. It plays right along with all of the other ones on the market. You get alerts when you are in and out of range for these. You can adjust those to customize them. You can also turn them off. The only one you can't turn off is that urgent low. You can also get notifications when you're two hours after you logged your meal. So if I started my lunch at 12.06 and I put my lunch in for 12.06, at 2.06, it sends me a push notification to say, hey, you ate two hours ago, let's see what your blood sugar did. That's a really great feature because then you'll never forget to check and see how that goes. You can also in the reports section, see trends on your meals. So you can see breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and how your blood sugar is trending after those meals. You can also of course see your averages overall in your AGP report, which I will show you when I start showing you my phone and my app. Now you can also on your app, view your blood sugar in three hour increments, six hour, 12 hour, or 24 hour. This is really great because you can see more detail or you can see a longer term trend, which is really important if you're trying to figure out what works best for you. Now, two other really cool things about the app is that you can track not only your food, but also your physical activity, your sleep, your mood, and any medications that you take. Not only can you track your food by making a note and putting out how many carbs are in that meal, but now the Cybionic CGM system has the ability to search for foods within their database. So you can keep your favorite foods ready to click, 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 and you can get a lot more accurate food measurements in the app. Now, when we're measuring activity and sleep and mood, that can all show up in your app so that you can start seeing trends was my fasting blood sugar higher because on the days that I didn't sleep well, my fasting blood sugar was higher? Was it because I had a high carb meal the night before? You can start seeing those trends and Cybionics does the work for you so that you can easily at a glance pick it out. Now the last amazing thing about this app is that you can add blood sugar followers. So if you want to add someone in your app as a blood sugar follower, they can download the app and they can see your blood sugars all the time. You can share whatever data you want with them. So if you have a high or low alert, they will get the same alert and it just adds a backup to the safety and making sure your blood sugars are in range. It can also help with accountability or if you have a coach you wanna share it with, you can share it with them too. So here's the Cybionics app and all the amazing information you can get from it. So the first place that I like to look is the daily log. You can go to each day consecutively and see your information for that day. If you scroll down a little bit, you're able to see all of your numbers in a graph, which is really nice because then you can see the changes that your blood sugar is making in real time during that day. Now, the average glucose is your average glucose over that day in the daily log. Your time and range, of course, is how often you're in this blue area that you see, not above or below your target range. In your TAR, that is the target, or sorry, time above range. So that's gonna show you how often you are too high in your blood sugar. And TBR is time below range, how often you go low. You can also see all of your meals that you put in here. Um, I was on vacation. I had a really delicious cheeseburger at uh, In-N-Out on this day. So that's how you can see all of the things you put in there in your daily log. Now, the other place that's really nice to go look is your AGP report. This is wonderful because you can see it for just the week. You can see it for 14 days, 30 days, 90 days. I'm gonna go for my 14 day. 
My average glucose is 95. GMI is your av or your estimated A1C. Um, mine's actually a little bit lower than this, so take it with a grain of salt, but it is a really good indicator of about how you're doing during that time. Shows you your time in range. And then of course, this coefficient of variation, this is how much your blood sugar fluctuates up and down. Now, I'm gonna actually go to my 30 day because it will have enough information to show me my graph. Now the ambulatory glucose profile, the AGP report, this is amazing. You get so much information from this Cybionics CGM and this app, but you don't have to interpret it all. The Cybionics app does it for you. So you can see in this graph, this is my favorite place to look, where you are most of the time with your blood sugars, so your averages throughout the day, where you are just sometimes, so that bigger, lighter green area shows you where you are sometimes, but the darker green is where you normally are. And then of course, it's gonna show you above and below range. So now you can see, okay, around 1 p.m., 2 p.m., my blood sugars are typically a little higher than I want them personally. So what do I need to do at that time? It shows you what you need to target and how to do it. So that's that amazing AGP report. Now, the last thing I wanna to talk to you about is, now I'm not wearing one right now, this is from past data. So I wanna show you how to add in a meal or your mood. So let's say I click on mood at this time right now, I'm feeling hungry. Maybe I'm absolutely starving. It will show up when you add that, it will show up in your daily report above your blood sugars so that you can see I had a meal at this time or I didn't get enough sleep this day or I was really, really hungry and that's why I went low. Now you can also add exercise like you can see, you can add meals. I love this feature and Cybryonics has made it especially easy. So I'm going to say lunch at 11, okay, 12.29, this is just, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. Since I'm choosing today, it's not gonna let me. So you can put in your time and you can put in what meal it was. Then you can search for your food. So let's say I had an apple. I'm just gonna put that in here. You can add this by clicking the plus button, add your portion size, and then say addition completed, and then it's gonna show up in your food intake. You can also add pictures if you'd like to. That's a really good way to uh, use this app to log your food a little bit more so that you can see how things are affecting your blood sugars. So those are the amazing things that come from this app. And I was so excited to get the updates from their app. Um, I think that it is every time they update, it adds more and more really cool features that make it user friendly. Now it's great to know your blood sugars and have all that data all the time and have the incredible insight, but it doesn't do anything for you if you don't know exactly what to do about it, which is why I created a Kickstarter guide for you to walk you through how to lower your A1C naturally to reach diabetes remission without needing the medications and make it really simple for you and easy. You can get this Kickstarter guide starting with a free masterclass by clicking the link in the description below. And better yet, once you're signed up for that Kickstarter guide, I'll send you a weekly meal plan Monday email with recipes or meal plans every week. I'm type two diabetes coach Megan and I'll see you next time.